should we isolate, you know, uh, isolate ourselves to the point that we are, you know, basically not involved in, uh, you know, the world in which we, which we live in. You know, what is, you know, what is our limitations to our involvement to the, to the outside world uh, and to, in, in the outside influences, you know, the negative influences? You know, should we completely isolate ourselves or, you know, is there some uh, room for, you know, engaging, you know, the real world? Brown probably provide a better answer. Right. <laughs> right, he's... I hardly leave the house. I mean, my <laughs> dream day is not leaving the house. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I mean, it, I think it depends what stage of life you're at. I mean, there's certain... When you're a student, I mean, you have to be out and about. Uh, you have to talk to your fellow students. You have to be in work groups and things like that. Um, uh, I think as you, you know, the different... Uh, when you get old, when you have a family, you know, you spend a lot of time with your family and you go, even when you're without your, you know, with your family and your friends. Um, so I guess, uh, you know, I, I would say that, you know, to the extent that it's possible to limit, to, to not engage in problematic interactions, you should not engage in them. I think that, that for me, that, that's what I do. Um, uh, and, you know, I don't want to engage with a lot of people. Uh, around me. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't know what the heck people do. <laughs> Talk about sports and drink beer and I don't know, just this stuff. I don't want to, I don't want to be involved with that. I got my own, you know, I have my own life, my family. I like to read books, like, to, you know, um, but uh, also, I mean, I think, uh, well, you know, when you have children, you also have to teach your children how to, how to deal with things. Yes. So, you know, you have to interact with people because you're teaching your children how to interact with people. Uh, I don't know if you're at that stage of life uh, or not, but I mean, I think there, it really depends where you are. Uh, and I, I think that I would say that as Muslims, you know, we, we also have to be aware that we're representatives and ambassadors of our religion. Maybe the only experience someone will ever have with a Muslim is with us. So you don't want to be a jerk. Um, you know, I try to always be polite and to be sensitive. Uh, but uh, an understanding, but at the same time, I don't, you know, I don't just go into like a bowling alley and go up to guys and be like, hey, how about them, you know, skins or whatever. Uh, you know, I'd rather stay at home with my kids and, or, you know, go walk in the park or something. And, you know, I mean, the reality is, is that sometimes, you know, staying at home is more dangerous than actually going outside, you know, with, you know, social media, you know, and, there was a, you know, hot discussion, you know, last night, you know, about, you know, social media, you know, so, yeah, uh, Dr. Hatton, what is some advice, you know, uh, in addition to, you know, not isolating yourself, you know, from, you know, these negative influence, but at the same time, you know, how to uh, conduct yourself with, you know, social media, because if you're at home and you're bored, then you're going to entertain yourself with TV, with the internet, you know, or these social media um, networks. So what type of balance should an individual have? I just want to say that the, the idea of isolating ourselves is not, uh, it's not even possible. I, I, I certainly understand that you, you will have, um, you do have the liberty uh, to stay away from trouble and you do have the obligation to stay away from trouble and you do have the obligation to stay away from uh, problematic encounters uh, that, that will compromise your religious integrity. Uh, but the idea of uh, we are, uh, we're not like the Mennonites. The Mennonites are a smaller community and they were able to basically have to, to separate themselves to a great extent, or the Amish or the other, other communities that were able to separate themselves uh, to a great extent from the larger society. But Muslims are 1.6 billion people, uh, you know, uh, on this planet. And it, as Muslims, it's just not going to be possible that we give this advice to that large ummah to basically separate itself. And there is like a verse in the Quran or a couple of verses in the Quran. I'll, I'll just uh, uh, quote this one. وَقَدَ نَزَّرَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعْهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْرَهُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ جَامِعُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْكَافِرِينَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ جَمِيعًا 
وقد نزل عليكم في الكتاب and he revealed to you he sent down to you unto you in the book that if you see if you hear the verses of Allah being mocked and ridiculed uh, or rejected that you do not sit with them until until they talk about something else they start another discussion and so you had avoided un unless you were able to uh, to defend the, 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 the you know the verse uh, the, the, the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the verses of Allah teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you're able to, to talk uh, and defend and so on continue sit down and defend but if you're not going to be able to defend and they're being the verses of Allah or ayatullah are being mocked withdraw withdraw until they engage in a in another discussion which tells you that it is it, you know it is socially necessary for people to mingle with, with uh, one another look at when the prophet sallallahu was going to visit sa'd ibn ubada radiyallahu anhu uh, when he was sick and on his way he had usama with him on his way he stopped by a group of Muslims and, and uh, Jews and uh, Mushrikeen sitting together. And when, they appro when he approached them, the, his, the, the, his donkey moved the dust towards them. And Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Sarur got very irritated and started to be very offensive towards the Prophet and tell him, you know, you, you stay home. Despite the fact that the Prophet approached them, gave them the greetings and everything very nicely, he said, stay home. And if someone wanted you, they will come to you. And then the, the Sahaba started to basically uh, like an argument erupted, but the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam basically calmed everybody down and left to them. He had them continue their gathering and he left. And that group of Muslims, Jews and uh, Mushrikeen, after Abdullah ibn Ubay ibn Sarul insulted the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the pro what the Prophet did is that he calmed them down and then left uh, to visit Saad ibn Ubadah, on, on, uh, to, uh, to visit Saad ibn Ubadah. I would say just immunize yourself. Uh, certainly, there, there are certain times where you need a little bit of protect, like extra protection. So certain age groups will need a little bit of extra protection. If we can have Islamic uh, schools to protect our kids in, in elementary, in, or you, they call them uh, what here? Uh, elementary, right? Yeah, yeah. elementary, yes. <laughs> I, I grew up in Egypt, primary, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, because we called pre junior primary. high preparatory, oh, and we yes. call high school secondary. Yeah. Uh, but, 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 you know, so in, in earlier phases of their life, but when they go to college, they will just have to mix. But if we cannot afford to have Islamic schools, then maybe charter schools. Uh, and we really do it right, like just to be really straight and legal about it. Uh, and then if we cannot have charter schools, then our kids will go to public schools. And in this case, we will have to do our best to teach our kids how to be, be uh, sort of uh, outward Muslims in, in a public school. So it, it varies, it depends, the different circumstances, different age groups, uh, but we will not be able to completely withdraw. And at the same time, we do not want to assimilate in the sense of melting down.